हेलो दिस इज पजल्स लेसन टू इन दिस आई विल डिस्कस क्वेश्चन ऑन लीनियर अरेंजमेंट नाउ देर आर इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स फॉर यू टू सोल्व द पजल्स क्वेश्चन इन ए फास्टर मैनर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू हैव टू रीड द गिवन इंफॉर्मेशन वेरी केयरफुली इफ यू विल मिस द पॉइंट और इफ यू इंटरप्रेट द गिवन स्टेटमेंट रोंग यू विल नॉट बी एबल टू सोल्व द क्वेश्चन और यू विल कैलकुलेट द रोंग आंसर सेकेंड थिंग वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इज सिम्बॉलिक नोटेशन फॉर एग्जाम्पल exactly two persons are sitting between p and q so i will represent this statement as this way p and q there are exactly two persons the two persons are between p and q we don't know uh, who is left who is right so i have written p slash q this uh, this is the symbolic notation how this will help us and this will help us in a way because once you will write the symbolic notation you don't have to read the statements again and again this will save your time third thing is very important all possible diagrams once we are stuck in a question what we can do we can make all possible diagrams and uh, while solving some of the diagrams will get cancel out and you will left with you will left with the correct diagram so these three are very important uh, things to understand in order to solve the puzzle questions in a faster manner let's start with the questions question number 1 is five persons p q r s t are sitting in a row facing north now direction you can assume any direction let's say this direction is north this direction is not should not be confused you can take uh, this direction as north not necessarily in the same order p is sitting three places away from r so first let me make this five places this five places i have made now p is three places away from r can i say that i am just writing symbolic notation this is one place away this is two place away this is three place away now this will be the this is symbolic notation for p is three places away from r what is the benefit of this symbolic notation you don't have to read the statement again and again s is two places away from q it means that s and q this is one place away this is two place away there is gap of one person between s and q why i am writing slash because i don't know uh, whether s is on the left side or q is in the left side t is not adjacent to p symbolic notation for this can be t and p are not together this is a symbolic notation t is not adjacent to p s if s sits at the right end so right end will be this here is the s now look at this uh, this statement s and q there is a gap of 1 so q would be at this point because you can see that s and q the gap is of 1 so this this statement i have filled you can make a tick mark on this now t and p are not together and there is a gap of two persons between p and r so can i say that uh, only position that is left with p r p and for p and r is this one p and r the gap of 2 then p and r this is the only position that i can fill with the requirement now t is not adjacent to p t and p are not together now what is the position left for t t position is only this is the position that left for t now remember that t and p are not together so p slash r this will not be equals to p because t and p are not together this is not p and this is not this will be r so if this is not p this will be r and this will be p so we have finalized this is p this is r so the arrangement would be r t q p and s now what the question says that then what is the order in which these five persons sit so order would be r t q p and s that is the order in which these five people will sit question number 2 pause the video try to solve yourself then look at the way i have solved treat this uh, lesson 2 as a your practice test online now five girls rita dinki sonia parul and pinky are sitting in a row facing north so you can make the five seats these are the five seats and this direction you can take this direction as north direction 
now rita is to the immediate right of sonia now you don't have to write the full name just write the first letter if they are old different if they are same uh, you can write the second letter let like this rita is to the immediate right of sonia now sonia you can say s rita is to the immediate right of sonia this will be the positions rita is to the immediate right of sonia who is at one of the end now sonia is at one of the end now can sonia be at this place this place and miss either the right end or the left end now can sonia be at this place this s now it, it can't be because where is the position for r you know that r will sit just right of s which is not so this is this will not be s so where is the sonia will sit sonia will sit at this end this is the place for sonia and this is the place for rita r now that's what that was symbolic notation s r parul is to the left of dinky this is dinky parul is to the left we don't know it's immediate it will not be i think immediate left but we don't know what the situation we, it's given that parul is to the left of dinky so left of dinky would be this parul parul is to the left of dinky who is not at the end so dinky is not at the end dinky will not sit at the end this is dinky will not sit at end it means that at this last place now one end is filled with sonia so this won't be a dinky you can cancel this so where the dinky will sit can dinky at this place third place can ding can dinky place would be this no because we know that parul is to the left of dinky parul you can represent as p a so dinky can cannot be at this place because parul is to the left of dinky so dinky is not at end so what is the position left for dinky dinky will be at this place and parul is to the left of dinky only one position is there on the left and this will be the position of parul and the last place left that will will be for pinky p i now what the question who is seated to the immediate right of rita rita is r who is sitting to the immediate right of rita answer is parul that is p a parul will be your final answer question 3 pause the video try to solve yourself then look at the way i have solved now these questions are very interesting questions once uh, you will practice more and more of these kind of question and you will be able to solve them your analytical abilities will become very very strong now question says that in a q sonu is the sixth person from the front monu is the seventh person from the rear end so let me make the front end we can assume that this is the front end and this is the let's say rear end or back end of the queue how many persons are standing in the queue if two persons are between sonu and monu now two persons are between sonu and monu you can say that sonu could be here two persons in between this could be monu m or it could be vice versa like this monu and sonu there are two persons in between these are two possibilities only it means that sonu could be left monu could be right and vice versa now we will fill the uh, the other information with the help of first two statements sonu is six from the front he is the sixth guy six from the front this is the front side sixth guy is this it means that five persons are to his left 1 2 3 4 5 5 this is 1 2 3 4 5 he is sixth from the front so it means that five other persons are standing ahead of sonu he is the sixth one this is sixth now monu is seventh from the rear end he is the seventh from rear end this is the seventh person from the rear end seventh guy from the rear end means this end seventh guy this is the seventh guy in the rear end so seventh means there would be six more to the right of him six more this is 6 5 4 3 2 1 he is the seventh person from the rear end this is the one part now how many student uh, total persons are there in the queue if you see the first case 6 plus 2 in between 8 or 7 total are 15 so from the first uh, uh, arrangement the now answer could be 15 there are 15 persons who are standing in the queue 
now is this will be the final answer no you have to see the second arrangement also again same way sonu is the sixth person person from the front end now this is six from the front end front end this is the sixth guy sonu is the sixth guy from the front end it means that five person are to his left so this is one two three four five it could be like this this is the first guy second third fourth fifth sonu is six from the front end monu is seventh from the right end so from the right end this is the right end rear end monu is the seventh person he is the seventh person from the right end now seventh person is monu this is the seventh person so this will be sixth this is fifth this is fourth and this could be third second and first guy from the right end this is the first this is second this is third this is fourth this is fifth this is sixth this is seventh everything is correct monu is seventh from the rear end or the right end and sonu is six from the front end now in this way if you count the number of persons standing in the queue how many six is there seven eight nine total there are nine persons who are standing in the queue this is also correct so both 15 and 9 are correct it's just two arrangements that are possible in this scenario now question says that how many persons are standing in the queue answer could be 15 or 9 but we won't find an exact answer so in this case answer will be cannot be determined it's very interesting question and sometimes a difficult question difficult note in the sense it's a very lengthy question difficult in understanding because many will uh, tick the answer as 15 and some other will tick the answer is 9 but both the case are equally correct so answer will be 15 or 9 which is not in the options so in this case our answer would be cannot be determined